What is going on my beautiful LARPers and LARPettes? Today I am here in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. I got invited out by Gun Owners of America to join their Gun Owners Advocacy and Leadership Summit. If you haven't heard of it, it's because it's the first ever of them doing this in Knoxville, Tennessee or at all. And it's basically like a miniature SHOT Show. And unlike the NRA, they're actually talking about gun rights and uh, how we can preserve them so it's really really cool that I can help and spread awareness to you guys on this event so hopefully you can make it out possibly next year or many years after that but yeah let's go ahead and uh, check out the show I don't know if they're gonna be a whole lot of new things coming out but I know that there's probably stuff that I missed at SHOT Show to uh, cover for you guys so hopefully I can get some good content out for you so thank you so much enjoy the show alrighty guys I'm here at the Q booth with Jay, Jay, Jay here. nice yeah, to yeah. meet you, man. You as well. What do we have going on here at the show today? Oh, we got the tried and true, and then we got the new. So, okay. um, you know, we've had we've been around since 2016. So we've had the fixed platform out for a while, Honey Badger platform. Um, but we brought some of our newer stuff. So we're coming out with so Q cert is kind of our thing. So here we have an M lock handguard, okay. um, and then we have our same length, the 15 inch Q cert. Okay. So Q cert is our thing. It's been on the on the fix for a while. Um, an easy way to quantify it for people that I tell that are familiar with guns is like if you were to take our 15 inch handguard and put it up against Geisley's like URGI, okay. um, the Geisley handrails or the handguards are with their barrel nut stripped, it comes out at like just right at 16 ounces with the barrel nut, it's right at a pound. Ours with none of these accessories on them, with the barrel nut and these 32 pieces of steel in it come out to 10.6 ounces. So significantly lighter. We're also the geometry of the handguard itself allows us to be a lot stiffer okay. um, and more rigid. So any sort of deflection we do get to, it returns to zero eight times faster. Yeah. So we have some videos we're going to put out uh, showing all that testing and, okay. and all that data. So Q-Cert's cool. M-Lock's the best we've had for a long time. Mm -hmm. But Q-Cert, I mean, you look. There's no blind tabs or anything. Yeah. You just stick it in the slot and screw it in. Yeah. 8.6 is also our caliber, 8.6 Blackout. Mm -hmm. um, we've been developing that for a few years, and, and it's kind of it's out now. So. Um, was that the caliber that was at the range day yesterday? Yep. Yeah, we had 8.6 oh, yesterday. That thing yep. is extremely quiet. Man. Super quiet. Yeah. Recoil is very mellow. Mm -hmm. um, that 330. I mean, you can see the projectiles if you want to. Yeah. If you want to look at them. So, yeah. 338 projectile uh, in a shortened and, and opened up 6.5 Creedmoor case. So it'll fit in an SR25 mag. Uh, we've had the the 8.6 fixes for a little bit, and then now we're gonna release the boombox. Oh, so nice. So people think this honey badger, it's a boombox. So it's slightly bigger than the honey badger, but. SR25 mags, it's basically took the AR10 platform, made it smaller, made it lighter, basically what we do with everything. So, and this is chambered in 8.6? This is 8.6, yeah, so I mean, if you want to hold it, it's Holy it's super shit. light. So oh without God. the optic and the and the little accessory, it's just under yeah, five pounds. Dude. Yeah, so. For shooting something like that, this is insane. Exactly, so that's the eight inch barrel. Uh -huh. They're gonna release with a 12 inch barrel, uh -huh. um, one and three twist, 8.6. We'll eventually do the eight inch, we'll do 6.5 Creedmoor, 6 mil Creedmoor, 308. So just like In that the fix. Same but size. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yep. Yeah, so same receiver size. It takes an SR25 mag, standard. Uh, I mean, that's a 10 rounder, but standard SR25 mag. Just pop it all in. If I could do it, I can't do it, yeah. apparently. And um, as far as as far as suppressed, how well does this do suppress? Unbelievably. Yeah. I mean, you heard it on the, on the fix. Yeah. Um, obviously, bolt gun, this is a gas gun, but yep. it's unbelievably quiet. Um, Especially with like that that full size that yeah. can that pork chop. Yeah. Um, so we right now we have the two steel cans. So we have the pork chop and the short chop, and the pork chop being the longer of the two. But yeah, it's insane. Obviously, it's going to be a touch louder just because yeah. because you have a reciprocating bull. You have yeah. gas coming out the side, but. Um, and um, what's the price going to be on that guy? And is it released yet or? It's going to be. It'll be out in Q four quarter four. So we're hoping for October. Okay. Um, we're hoping for an October release. I don't know exactly when. And it's going to be right around the four mark, uh, four, mark. four thousand. Yeah. So it'll be. I know it'll be sub forty five hundred. Um, okay. So that that lower half of four thousand for sure. Gotcha. Yep. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, just hearing that something that small in eight six that's basically just as good as the honey badger, right? When it comes yeah, to the suppression absolutely. and stuff like that, yeah, that just sounds yeah. insane. And, and reliability is insane on these two. I mean, it, we wanted the gun to come out a year and a half, two years ago, but we just weren't satisfied with where it was at yeah so we could have dropped it a year and a half ago and said hey here it is you're gonna love gen 5 yeah. but we didn't do that so we we waited until it's ready 
basically perfection, to, perfection takes patience exactly yeah, but, yeah. And, and magic ain't cheap for yeah, sure exactly for sure. but thanks so much dudes Absolutely. i really appreciate yeah, it yeah, i'm excited for that so october time around there yes sir yeah cool thank you so much of man. Course. i'm here at the palmetto state armory booth there's no one really here today unfortunately to give me an interview like they said so i'm gonna go and try to catch one off guard and ask the uncomfortable questions hey how's it going good how you doing when's the 300 blackout crank coming out i don't work here oh all right guys i'm here with my good friend adrian nice to see you again see you, bro we are here at the uh century arms booth what do we have here in front of us and we're gonna go over some new stuff that you guys came out with as well right yep yeah so we got here a new collaboration we're actually doing with gun owners of america it's our mete mc9 all done up in uh, goa colors so you got the blue frame red accents gray slide label with goa uh, it's going to be shipping with a cool uh, goa uh, challenge coin and a lot of other cool stuff in the box uh, that's supposed to be shipping uh, pretty soon i don't have the pricing just yet but uh, look out for it on, uh, I believe, Classic Firearms website. So you're going to be getting a little bit more special things inside of that case. And you guys already have, like, a ton of stuff in the box. So you're going to get cooler stuff in this package Yeah, here. so yeah, you're going to have the Challenge Coin. I believe a special patch also. And then again, all the can of goodies. Sweet, sweet. What else do we got? So on the Century side, we got our new we have our BFT 556. Okay. So basically, we're evolving our uh, BFT line. We started with the BFT 47, that was our 762. It was one of our most tested uh, AK 47s we've ever come out with. And we're evolving that now to come out in a 556 and also a 545 nice. platform. So we're bringing that back. So we got the 556 here. Uh, it comes up with the uh, AK 74 style brake, vented gas tube, AC Unity Mag, and again, the same bulge forge trunnion that made the bft uh, so popular a couple years ago when we launched gotcha, that gotcha. and then we have the same uh with the 74 here the five uh, five four five um same features bulge forge trunnion but now with the uh, american hardwood furniture differentiated a little bit gotcha now the 556 and the 545 are these released or they're going to be released and what's the price point on these guys we just started shipping those this month i believe uh the 556 the msrp is going to be 1049 and then the uh, 74 is going to be 949 msrp okay cool cool all right what else do we got so we have our new ap5l that's going to be coming out soon also so it's actually a, a rifle length mp5 uh, I'm pretty sure we're the only ones on the market offering that at the moment. So it's a 16-inch barrel, and it comes with a faux suppressor uh, to cover up the, the pencil barrel underneath. It comes with all Magpul furniture, Magpul uh, handguard, the lower, the stock. It comes with an AC Unity mag also, and it's a super soft shooting MP5. We had it at GunCon recently, and I was just plinking steel super fast with that thing. Yeah, I could only imagine with that long. This is a 16-inch barrel. 16-inch barrel. I could only imagine with that, like how much the MP5 is, probably the smoothest shooting gun that I've ever shot. So with the 16-inch. Yeah, with the standard nine-inch barrel, it's it's already a typewriter, and yeah. putting that 16-inch barrel, like literally, there's like no <laughs> rise to that thing. It was awesome. Now with this faux suppressor, can you take this off and like put your like an actual suppressor on this? No. Yes, you can. Um, so this one is special because it threads at the top. Uh, so once you take this off, it's you got the barrel. long barrel and then it's kind of threading on the end. So you could, but you're going to have an even a longer, longer barrel. barrel yeah. But I mean, you still can technically suppress it. If you, you could do to. that, right? Okay. All righty. And what's, is this released yet? And what's the price point going to be on this? Uh, these are also shipping soon. Uh, they haven't uh, come out just yet, but I believe the MSRP is going to be $18.99 on those. $18.99? Okay. All righty. And uh, what else do we got? We have our new uh, G3 conversion that we just started bringing into the States in collaboration with PTR. Okay. Um, you know, your classic G3 design. Uh, these guys, uh, we start bringing them in at SHOT Show, I believe. Okay. Uh, so yeah, MSRP on these guys is $9.99. And again, 308, roll delay delayed blowback. What's not to like with that? Yeah, yeah. This is, this is pretty sweet. And you said this isn't available yet, right? I believe those are shipping soon also. Oh, shipping soon also? Yeah. What kind of, are these, so are these based off of kits or they're imported? You so said you imported them? Yeah, so we're importing them. They, they come as a parts kit and they're re, uh, reassembled by PTR. Okay. And then, so we import them, they uh, they reassemble it for us and gotcha. they're offering it for us. Gotcha, gotcha. So is there any, I guess the, the American made parts would just be what, like the... Uh, 
Uh, certain parts like the the trunnion, the trigger, and uh, a couple other parts. But I believe there's like uh, six total parts, I believe, that uh, are American parts. Okay. When we saw on it. Adrian, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. As always, keep uh, bringing out the cool stuff. All right, guys, I am here at the Stuff and Things booth. <laughs> I just like that name, Stuff and Things. You just make stuff and things. Exactly. <laughs> stuff and we dabble in things. Gotcha. Ian, yep. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You've, I've seen these online. Okay. They look yep. even cooler in person. For my subscribers here, what do we have here at the show? So these are our Stizon uh, magazine conversion kits for 9mm AKs. Uh, you have your PSA AKV, uh, KUSA KP9 and KR9, and then both Century 9mm AKs, the NAC9 and the 9S. So we basically have the whole gamut of 9mm AK covered that you can get your kit for. And yeah, it's basically just a way to have a Bison at home. So a way, you know, Bison, real ones are like unobtainium. Mm -hmm. And they also, to get a real one, your receiver gets cut up here. So that is like the main pain. So we made a kit to just be able to convert it without, all you have to do is take your magwell out, put our handguard on. And that's it. You're good to go, yep. And it's also, if, if you're just doing that, then it's pretty reversible. If you're like, say, oh, I don't want absolutely. to run it right now, I just put all my other stuff back on absolutely. there. Absolutely, you can throw your magwells in back in any of them. The centuries are the easiest. Uh -huh. They have like an existing uh, mag release in them, and all you do is hit that and the magwell pops right out. It's super easy. The, P uh, the AKV is a little bit harder. There's like two bolts. Not, I say harder, it's harder than the centuries. Yeah. Uh, the KP9 has a one rivet you have to drill out, but we are providing a pin to put your ah. existing magwell back in, it'll come with the kit, no extra charge. Sweet. So if you want to convert your KP9 back, you just use our pin, you can pop that magwell right back in. Gotcha. Yep. Now, what's the price point? On, is there price point differences between the different guns here, or is it nope, all one price point? Uh, $300, $300 for the full kit, and that's the flash hider, mag, and handguard. And if you got in on the pre-order, then you also get a mag release. Gotcha. Okay. Now, are these available now to these buy? Are available now. Okay. Uh, so these are all production models here. They're molded. All the plastics molded. They're not printed anymore or anything like that. Uh, we're shipping the pre-orders out like as we speak. We have an employee back at the shop just hammering them out. Gotcha. Once the pre-orders ship, which we're expecting like end of next week to be done with that, mm -hmm. then they'll just be in stock. Gotcha. And you normal. could choose between solid black or clear to see yep. your rounds. Uh, yeah, and these are aluminum tube and these are uh, impact resistant polycarbonate. So they are strong despite being clear gotcha. and lastly i don't know if you're really showing that one off i'm seeing like a matador arms yep. like nine mil up or down there right yeah so we're just trying to get people's uh, wheels turning their head for options in the future we want to run this mag on like everything we can mm -hmm. we're in talks with a couple different companies uh i don't even know if i should say it yet but a major manufacturer wants us uh, wants to use our mags in there in one of their like really high-end rifles okay so just get people's like wheels turning like the bottom one is kind of like the bees of the future like gotcha. if this was designed today and not in the 80s how would it look gotcha. so just to get the wheels turning and yeah so we want to make like an ar style and that's why we use the mat 9 upper we love the matador uppers and so stuff and things is not just stopping at ak they're working on other no, stuff and things no, so we, never stop. we get bored too quick and gotcha. have to well, come up with new stuff so well ian thank you so much i really appreciate it absolutely awesome stuff all right guys i am here at the henry booth with george thompson george nice to meet you nice to meet you pal seems like you guys have something special for uh the show right so. we do we do we have two uh unique models for goa members uh and it's a direct buy program which is kind of kind of different um, you know, you can go to our website and uh, purchase these guns directly. They'll ship to an FFL of your choice. And uh, with everyone that's sold, there's a $50 contribution back to GOA. Oh, that's amazing. Um, not only that, but they're screaming good prices because you're buying them directly from us. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the price point going to be on these two here? Oh, gosh. Uh, this one's around 900 bucks, I think. Okay. And this one's five something. So is this the... 357 38 model this x here is, yeah this is actually our most popular model okay. um it's a uh 12 mx which is a x gun but it has m locks and pick rail and threaded barrel uh, and it's in th 357 shoot, so you can shoot 38s or 357 mm -hmm. um and of course it's got the goa engraved on the stock to make it unique mm -hmm. and this is another one of our most popular models the frontier uh, which is a 22 long rifle octagonal barrel okay. real classic looking gun uh, with a emblem in the stock as well. George, thank you so much. Thank you, I really appreciate your time and uh, thanks again for doing this. Yeah, you bet. Thank you.
I am here at the Warwick Tactical booth with Bobby. Bobby, nice to see you. What do we have here going on at the show? So we're an OEM manufacturer. We make a lot of stuff for a lot of big names that we can't put our name on. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of the cool stuff that we do, new products that we have, like this is a direct grip replacement module for the Springfield Prodigy. Oh, nice. It's just a transfer, bolt over, all of your other parts kind of go with the gun. Yeah. Um, but we make uh, a steel version and an aluminum version of the grip. Okay. Multiple different texture options available. Okay. Um, we have uh, limited optics guns. Mm -hmm. So this gun is your traditional 1911 style with an aluminum grip. Mm -hmm. This particular gun is unique in the fact that it has an external extractor. Okay. So you don't have to worry about any of that pesky extractor tuning or keeping tension on your extractors. And yeah. it also has a wide body style rear on the slide. So okay. it's a direct mount optic. The traditional 1911 slide is not wide enough for like an RMR bolt pattern. Yeah. So with the wide body rear slide here, it's a direct mount. You don't have a mm -hmm. plate in between that can get loose or whatever. Okay. So um, our triggers, we have a, a, a patented trigger system mm -hmm. allows you to change trigger shoes without mm -hmm. taking the gun apart. Mm -hmm. So you can go from short, medium, long curves to flats to top curves, bottom curves, whatever. Okay. Change the colors. For whatever reason you want yeah. to change the trigger, mm -hmm. you can change the trigger in about a minute and a half without having to take the gun apart. What are the, well, I mean, you said you do the OEM stuff, but you, you don't sell them through your website or you we don't? We do. You do? Yep. Okay, yep. So, so we, we manufacture complete guns okay. uh, as well as the parts. We have, uh, uh, like for a guy that wants to build his own gun. Sell the blanks. So we have a, a, a short block kit. Mm -hmm. It's a fitted frame slide and barrel. Mm -hmm. And you can add to this sight cuts or optics cuts or serrations or whatever. Gotcha. Um, but we we in-house manufacture from raw blocks of steel. Mm -hmm. So like this is a slide in first op. Okay. Um, and, uh, and we make the frames. Um, this is a, a frame that's 80% condition. Okay. So if a gunsmith wanted to purchase a frame, finish it off and put his own name on it, if he has, has an 07 manufacturing license, then we can provide them with an 80% frame as well. Awesome, awesome. What are the price differences between your full line here? Uh, it just depends on... So like the wide body, with. limited optics gun, steel grip stuff is in the $3,200 range. Okay. Uh, and then this gun right here with the aluminum grip and the standard is in the like 2950 mm -hmm. range. So they're, 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 they're around $3,000, gotcha. depending and on options. I'm pretty sure all the people that have prodigies out there are going to love these grips. So what are these going to go for? They retail for $450. And yep. the aluminum and steel, like you could choose which uh, So this, the steel is $625, okay, so and the more. aluminum is $450. Gotcha. Um, okay. And there I, there was a guy here at the show that had one, and, and um, he said, I, you know, I, I really like that grip. I want to get one of those. And I said, oh, well, I got a box over here. We got a couple of extra grips we brought with us. Awesome. So awesome. while he waited... I swapped his grip over you to his prodigy. It. Okay. Yep. Cool. No fitting. It was a direct replacement. Just direct on there. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, thank you so much. I yes, really sir. appreciate your time. Really clean looking um, double stack 1911s. That's or right. what do you? Yep. Nope. So the That's 2011 is trademarked. Yes. 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 We call them high cap or double stack 1911s. High cap. Okay. Yep. Every, every other company has their own name. They say double stack 1911s. They say just 1911s. So right. Just wondering what you call it. Wide body, high cap, double okay. stack, either or. Gotcha. But it's warwicktactical.com. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Yep. All righty, guys. I am here at the Global Defense booth with Jordan Young. Jordan, nice How to you meet doing, you. Brother? What do we have going on here at the show? Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, it's an uh, awesome event. Uh, we're really happy to be here. And um, so uh, I'm with Global Defense. I'm the CEO. We're located in South Florida. We're an importer and direct retailer. Okay. So we try to pass along a lot of value. Mm -hmm. We bring in some interesting pieces. Uh, we bring in 1911s. We got uh, launched the SA-9 at SHOT Show this year. That's our pistol caliber carbine right there. Okay. Yep. Uh, so this is a really cool gun because it kind of uses HK uh, MP5 mags. Um, it's a 9 millimeter direct blowback. Okay. Got a lot of nice features in here. Uh, MSRP so, on this is about seven ninety nine. Okay, and those are available now. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. absolutely. Cool. And I'm noticing these guys over here. What is this? Gold yeah. Gold over here on so this side? we work with a company called Rhineland Arms out of Spring, Texas. Okay. And um, they manufacture that. That's the R2000 over there. Do you mind if I grab it? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So. Um, a couple of cool features about this, it's it's basically an AR-15 that's been 
uh, repackaged and, and taken its inspiration from the WA, the Walther WA 2000. Yeah. So it's, this one's in 556. Um, it's got a CMC trigger on it. It's uh, American Walnut, and it's a beautiful gun, a monolithic, you know, extrude aluminum receiver, yeah. here, and uh, beautifully well balanced, uh, like they say, attack yeah. driver. We, you know, so. And are these available? And what's the price point on these guys? Uh, this this gun is about twenty two hundred. Uh, they are available now, um, and they're in production. Gotcha. The uh, the three oh eights will be available probably. Uh, next year. Gotcha. I'm noticing something else, right? So this is a little bit different than that. Yeah, that's the FG9. Same manufacturer. I'll take that. Okay. Look at so it's the same manufacturer. Uh, this is a 9mm, uh, taking its inspiration from the FG42, mm -hmm. the German paratrooper gun, and uh, side loading, bottom ejecting. I will say the production guns this year are are done with the Glock magazines. Okay. So we, this was the original model we did with the Colt oh, stick mags. Okay. Um, so again, machine aluminum receiver, uh, AR-15 trigger pack, uses HK style push pins for dis easy disassembly. Everything kind of pops out. Mm -hmm. And it's just a really fun gun. People are looking for something unique and interesting and, and yeah. great range. Yeah. I mean, that's the first thing yeah. I noticed. I was like, I never really see those a lot. So. Again, probably around $800 MSRP, depending on which model, awesome. eight to 900. And We're that, running a sale, by the way, 10% off Sidewire Global Defense US. Thank nice. you. Sorry for the shameless plug. Perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> and then basically same model over there, but that. Yeah, that's it's, cherry. Uh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Uh, with this different staining. Gotcha, um, okay. But, well, yeah. Alrighty, man. Jordan, Appreciate great it, meeting brother. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cool stuff God here bless. on the table. I'll take care. I am here with Liberty Manufacturing, and I shot this thing out at uh, the Media Range Day. So, what do we have going on here today? It is the good old pen gun. Okay. The reason that we are here. Uh huh. I'm um, here. I'll kind of show you how this goes. It's going to have a 22 long or short rifle bullet. Mm. Right. Plug it in right here. Close it up. And then from here, you're going to want to do the drop safety feature by pretty much rolling this all the way to the right until okay. you hear that click. Mm -hmm. At this point, you can safely use it as a pen, but at some point, you're not going to write it anymore and you're going to want to use it for a firearm. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to turn the tip of the pen in so you don't go either writing on yourself or even puncturing the skin. Yeah. So you're going to roll it to the left, and then from here, you clock it by pulling it. There is a uh, trigger safety feature that you're going to deactivate by rolling it to the left, and then you push it in, and then that's And that's what hits it. the rim of the, the cartridge. Yes. So it only holds one round, right? One so round. you just, one round, you eject it out. And this is uh, chambered in, it's 22 LR or 22 Magnum? 22, either the shorter, short or the long. Okay, so either or. No Magnum. No Magnum, okay, okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Um, what's the price point on these and what are they available already and I never really bought a pen gun so is there something that's NFA related for this or is it just like buying a normal gun so we're only uh, selling through dealers okay um, if you go to our website which is gonna be good old www.liberty-mfg.us there mm -hmm. is an option on our website to clearly see where you can go purchasing it from okay um, we're not selling them directly through us mm hmm Due to legalities and all that, mm -hmm. um, price range about 750. Different dealers may have slightly different prices, mm -hmm. but for the most part, 750. Gotcha. And this is not a NFA re regulated item, right? I could just go and buy it from a a store that sells them, and I'm good to go. Or there is the five dollar tax stamp because this is considered. Um, let me get my buddy Mark over here. Mark, come over here. What is the official? Hello, guys. Um, ask him the question. Yeah, so basically I'm wondering if it's an NFA item, right? So Yes, absolutely. So I'm Mark. I'm one of the founding fathers of Liberty MFG. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so it is an NFA item. It's absolutely correct. So mm. not a lot of people are aware of it, but uh, it is the fourth category of the National Firearms Act. It's the any other weapons uh, classification. Okay. Exactly, it's an AOW, okay. but no, no worries because there are only six around 61,000 AOWs oh. in the United States, so a lot of gun dealers and individuals mm. are not aware of it. 
So most uh, important thing is it only carries a five dollar tax stamp, nice. ETF tax stamp, and that means for gun dealers they don't need to charge um, mm -hmm. consumers the excise tax. And yeah, this is definitely an uh, advantage. And yeah, as you can see, we operate basically in a, in a white space. Gotcha. We don't have competition here. And yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. I mean, I still think it's pretty ridiculous to pay any tax on a certain item. But I hey, you. gotta do what we gotta do, right? But thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, this is awesome. I am here at Dark Mountain Arms with Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Nice to meet you. What do we have here today at the show? Yeah, this is our brand new stowaway takedown rifle. It's a bolt action, single shot platform. Okay. And the gun is designed to be caliber converted. So it's currently offered in a 5.7 chambering, okay. but next we're gonna offer it in nine millimeter and then all the rim fires. And that's just an easy bolt and barrel swap to convert it between calibers. Okay. It's also a takedown gun. So this unscrews, the barrel comes off, but it's like 16 and a half inches long with the rifle barrel in the lower. Mm -hmm. Go in a pack, um, 2.8 pounds on this thing for a center fire bolt action rifle. Returns to zero, no problem. Mm -hmm. When you take the barrel off, put it back. Okay. And the price point is just 399 retail. Oh, nice. And when you're stowing this all away, does it all like, connect together when you're stowing it or is just parts just floating around no, in the it's loose but it's just the barrel the okay. barrel is off of the gun basically okay. yeah gotcha. and you said this one's five seven this one's chambered in five seven okay and when you're putting the rounds in there is there you see put each individual round in or? there's no magazine it's one at a time okay so i'll open the bolt you just drop one here in the okay. bottom of the receiver close that cock it mm. you're ready to go gotcha gotcha okay and uh, are the, these are available now? And they are. You said the price point already. Three ninety nine is okay. retail. Yep. Okay. They're available. There's a few places online. They're available through distribution to order. Um, but yeah, we started shipping them about a month ago. Gotcha. And uh, oh, threaded. So suppressor ready. Then. All the barrels are threaded. Half twenty eight for a suppressor. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much, Aaron. Yeah. I really appreciate your yeah, time. Thank you. I am here at the Shadow Systems booth looking at the new CR920XP. Can you go ahead and tell us about it? All right, so the CR920XP is a new release for this year. 15 plus one flush fit. It's the compensated version of our CR920X. And the cool thing about the compensator is it takes down super easy for cleaning. It's kind of a tri-lug with a gate system. Uh -huh. So you do your, fan, uh, your standard field strip, you flip that latch, and off it comes. Oh, so the other ones you had to like twist, right? So that one just pops off straight? Yeah, you just twist the latch. Oh, hmm. Goes back together. And you're ready to rock and Perfect. roll. 15 flush, and then 18 extended coming later this year. Nice, so this is basically the size of what? Like the 48 or something? 48, yep. Block 48, okay. And uh, that compensator, when I shot it, that works extremely well. You can definitely feel the difference between uh, this one here. The standard CR920X, right? yep. Um, what's the price difference between this one and the new XP? So the CR920X Elites start right at $799. Mm -hmm. uh, these start right at $889. $889, and mm -hmm. these are ready to go right now? Ready to go right now. They've been shipping for a few weeks, and mm -hmm. both of our, well, all of our guns actually come with a lifetime self-defense warranty. Oh, nice. So if you ever have to use it, please take it as evidence. You give us a copy of the police report, and we send your FFL a new gun. Hmm. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yep.